my friends, welcome to another Rush Real video. Today we will be talking about Hero Gear. So if you have questions about Hero Gear, this is the video for you. Where do I get it? How much does it cost? Can I get it as a free to play player? I have been getting a lot of those questions. Why? Because it's probably the single most important item to make yourself or your account stronger. So depending on what deck you use, the hero gear is really important and it can really boost the power of your deck. Let's just get into it and I'll try and show you all the different ways to get hero gear. Subscribe now. I will be showing you how you can get gear every 21 days so how much gear can i get per 21 days as a free to play player or as a low spender why 21 days because that is the cycle the events last in rush royal we have the three events rush for glory the royal trials and the mirror match and on top of that we also have the hero tavern so check out this table to show you guys how the events are built up and this is how we're going to explain it. How much gear can we get every 21 days? So you kind of have an idea how you can farm gear. Okay guys, let's start with the first event. It's the mirror match. So the mirror match is the one that is active right now. You can get premium pass, the multitude of passes in Rush Royale, and you can play as a free player. I already looked it up. If you're not gonna buy the pass, so you're gonna play for free, it's gonna be 350 hero gear fragments you can get if you do buy the premium pass you get an extra 450 hero gear fragments so that's 800 total and that's what you can get from the mirror match now i cannot check the royal trials and rfg right now the other two events i but i'm assuming it's the same numbers so for the sake of this calculation we will be using those same numbers 350 fragments for a free player and if you buy the premium pass it's another 450 for a total of 800. Then we have an extra event the hero tavern so it's basically an overlapping event so over the entire 21 day period the hero tavern event is running and there you get as a free player 825 fragments and as a premium if you buy the premium pass you get an extra 1400 so 1400 for a total of 2225 hero gear fragments then we also have the regular season with the season pass so that's very simple as a free player you can get 400 fragments and you also get one common item a full item that's as a free player and as a premium player there's nothing no hero fragments also guys keep in mind in everything we've spoken about up until now i have not uh, calculated anything that you get from chests so i am not including chests and randomized things in this 21 day calculation so guys that's it for the regular season not a very big deal there i'm also assuming you can finish the season or get up until the uh, hero fragment rewards within 21 days that shouldn't be such a big deal so you know that's it for the regular season pass. Let's make a total. What can you get in 21 days? Every 21 days, as a free to play player, you can get 2,275 hero fragments guaranteed. So that means I'm not taking into account any lucky draws, chests, and other random stuff. So guaranteed, if you finish the passes, you can get 2,275 for free you can get an extra 2750 fragments so bringing it to a total of 5025 so as a low spender if you only buy the passes you can get 5025 fragments every 25 days but of course there are other ways of getting hero fragments and we're gonna get into those right now what else can we get the previous calculation i wanted to show you what can you get guaranteed as a free to play or low spender but now 
what else can you get? There is more. There is more fragments you can get. So the rare chest for 300 gems, you get somewhere between 0 and 400 fragments. And you can get one common item. Then we go straight for the epic chest, the 800 gem chest, with somewhere between 0 and 1000 fragments. And also, well, this time a chance to get a rare item. This is probably the best investment for your gems in the game, because you can get gadget, you can get trickster, and you can get hero gear fragments at the same time. So best investment in the game, especially if you have like a decent unit pool, you can play different decks. This is where you want to spend your gems. Then we have the Zeus chest, 999 gems, 200 to 1000 fragments, one rare item, and the same for the Necro chest. I'm assuming it's the same. The Necro chest isn't there right now. I can't double check it, but I'm assuming it's the same. Then we have the random roulette. It's a roulette. It costs your soul to get the little items. I mean, watch videos, of course, but anyway, it's completely random it's a gamble then we have a pack there is a new pack well it's it's one of the newest packs in the store sometimes equip hero pack e equip your hero or something like that there's a free part of this pack and there's a buying part of this pack the free part you get 500 fragments and one common item that's not bad guys if it takes you 21 days as a free to play player to get 2250 or 25 fragments and just by clicking this you get 500 for doing nothing that's pretty pretty good comparing comparing of course then if you spend like 15 bucks more or less you can get an extra rare chest piece armor piece and a rare weapon considering like I don't think it's enough for that price, but considering all the prices in this game, it's not so bad, especially if you don't have any gear. So it's better to get a few blue pieces than get absolutely nothing. It's worth considering. Then we have one more thing left. It's the daily shop offers. It's completely random, but your gear fragments do appear there and you need to pay gold. You can farm in game if you want to buy them. And that's all the ways you can get gear. If I am forgetting something, if I looked over something, please do let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, so knowing what you know now, it's safe to assume that this is a very precious resource and you do not want to waste it. I already talked about this in my top five tips video, the fifth tip, I'm gonna repeat that because it's so important you guys know. So if you already know, you can just skip the video from now on because that's the last part of the video. But this is probably one of the most important tips in the game. So if you don't know this, you definitely have to keep watching watching because how can you save a little bit of this precious resource and more importantly how do you make sure you don't mess up your items creating crafting your items your hero fragments into items you know it's completely random but there is one little trick you can use to kind of try and control how you start out building a certain item if you have the common items you have to combine four common items to get one blue item that's completely random you can't do anything about it but once you get a blue item for example I take the blue item, Alliance of All Kingdoms, everybody has that. It's on a common item, it's keep, it stays on a blue item, a rare item. And then my first trade, Magic Council. So this is the first one I get, it's random. But now I am going to do the next step. I am going to turn these four blue bows, their four rare bows into an epic bow. Now, how can I control what I get. I have Techno on this one, I have Magic on that one, I have another Techno and I have another Magic. I either want Techno or I want to keep Magic. What do we do guys? Because the next trade, once it turns epic, that's coming, that's gonna be random. But I can control what I want to keep Techno. I'm gonna pick Techno. So I want to keep Technogenic Society. So on my purple item, I want to be 100% sure that I have Technogenic Society. How do we do that? It's very simple, guys. So I click this item, I equip it. So here it is, it's equipped on my unit. I click the forge 
And here is my four blue items. You can see that one of the four bows has a green check mark. Look, it has a green check mark. That's my item that I have equipped. So this is it, guys. This is the trick you all need to know. You click it and you make sure that the bow in this case with the green check mark is in the first slot and you put the other bows, you put them there to merge away. This will guarantee you that you keep the techno item. So boom, here it is. You see, I get a purple bow first. The most important thing here, my first trade I have is still Technogenic Society and I got a new one, Kingdom of Light. So guys, I still have Techno on my bow and that's what you want to do. So that's the most important thing you need to know about crafting. Don't just start crafting everything mixed to each other because, because of this trick, I was able to get my Techno set. Uh, so I have my Techno Spear, I have my Techno Ropes and my Techno Necklace. And that's how I was able to do it. So really guys, keep this trick in mind. It's so important that you do not we waste this hero fragments because this is your most precious resource in the game. Guys, I hope this video helped you guys out a lot. I hope you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you like my content and these kinds of videos, it will really help me to improve and to keep doing it. And if you have any questions, like always, leave a comment and I also appreciate your likes. Guys, up to the next one. I hope to see you guys very soon on the battlefield.